When you are ready to insert your sensor, gather the following supplies. An in-light glucose sensor, an in-light serter, sensor overtape, a mini-link transmitter that has been fully charged, an alcohol wipe, a sharps container. Wash your hands before you begin. Before you insert a new sensor, you will need to remove your old sensor. Peel the adhesive tab off the transmitter. Disconnect the transmitter by pinching the flexible arms of the sensor with one hand and pulling the transmitter away with the other. Now, peel off the transparent sensor overtape. Next, loosen the sensor adhesive by lifting up the adhesive tab. Remove the sensor from your body. Discard the sensor in a sharps container. Be sure to follow the instructions in the Minilink user guide on how to properly clean your transmitter. Then, place the transmitter back on the charger so it can recharge. These are the sites that are commonly recommended for inserting the in-light sensor. Sensor performance may differ when other insertion sites are used. Choose a place on your body that has adequate fatty tissue, is 2 inches from your navel, is 1 inch from your insulin pump infusion site, is 1 inch from any manual insulin injection site. For best glucose sensor performance, avoid sites where clothing may rub or constrict, for example, your belt line, sites where your body naturally bends or where there's a great deal of motion, sites that are scarred or have hardened tissue or stretch marks. Be sure to rotate your sensor sites in order to avoid tissue damage that could occur from overuse. Clean the insertion site with alcohol and let the skin dry before inserting the sensor. Do not use any other product or tape on the site before inserting the sensor.